Hello everyone, I'm Overcord95 and welcome to Cornucopia Collectibles' uh, Primo Preview for our auction for on Whatnot on April 1st at 5.30pm. It's going to be our Funko Fabulous 50 auction. Um, basically what that means is it's going to be a total of 50 items up for auction. They're going to be the best of the best of the best that we can get our hands on up through the last month and a little bit before obviously. Um, there's two reasons to do this one. We want to try it out with some higher end stuff and just really go you know, top dollar with it. The other thing is I'm going to be taking a small vacation soon after that, so I won't be available. I'm going to, want to do something short, quick, and hopefully really interesting. Um, besides the 50 up for auction, which I'll show you a preview of some of the stuff in a minute, we've got mystery boxes this time. We have the two comic boxes that we've had in the last one. They just haven't sold yet, so they're going to keep appearing until they're gone. But that's a $100 uh, purchase price with a guaranteed value of about 150 um, the, each one will have 10 ungraded comics and one CGC graded comic with either a chance at a Silver Age or a Bronze Age. Next is my mini mystery boxes. There's five of those. The retail value is estimated at about $55. We're putting those up for $25. Bucks. There's five of them, all, and they're filled with all kinds of little mini mystery figurine things from Funko Minis to all kinds of other brand ones. Ones that basically I can just find in the store. I've been able to find in the store, get some and built up these boxes for people at honestly a discounted price. Um, and then finally, we're going to do our first ever attempt at a Funko mystery box. I mentioned it before in a video, there's going to be a total of 10 boxes. Guarantee, I think I, I we've updated it since then. The guaranteed PPG value is at minimum $25 as of yesterday, which was $322. We checked everything, we boxed everything, but the very last one I'm going to show you too because it's the chase basically. What we're trying, what you're hoping to get well over value but they're gonna be 30 bucks a box and like i said there's a guaranteed ppg value of over 25 on every single one of them as of yesterday but the big chase is the is a tokyo limited uh chase edition with the mask so in mint in pretty much mint condition you know her ppg is about 55 60 bucks that's what you're hoping for one of the 10 boxes will have her there's also no duplicates. There's not a single duplicated figure. So you're not if, if you end up buying multiple, you will have two different Funko, like if you buy two boxes, two different Funkos will be sent to you. There's no duplicates. So that's the those are the mystery boxes and the buy it now that we're having on this auction. Let's move on to the stuff. We've got a lot of good stuff. Like I said, there's a total of 50 items, and it is our best auction stuff yet. But we'll start. Here, there's a few things in here that I didn't get from mystery boxes, or if I did, they were off camera. So first up is we have a Liana uh, Mormont. It's the 2017 Fall Convention exclusive, or uh, shared sticker. Um, edition 7. I was surprised that this one was as valuable as it was, but it's a really cool piece that we got in a box that we did not do on camera. Because we have so many boxes that we sometimes just have to open some to clear space. So really cool. Um... She's in really good shape. I, I, I hesitantly say mint because if you ever look at something hard enough, eventually you will find an imperfection. So, but on a first glance, I don't see any scrape, major scratching or cut or damage to the box. There's no like crunches or anything like that. So really cool there. Next up is we have the Harry Potter three creature set, which includes the Cornish Pixie, the Mandrake, and the Grindelwald. These are from 2016 Summer Convention, shared sticker. Very cool set. They're really tiny, which is actually kind of cool because it fits into, if you put it, if you if you are not a box collector, this will look proportionate to like a Harry Potter figure a, a bit a bit better. The Cornish Pixies should be absolutely tiny, but <laughs> but they're really cool. It's, it is the three set, and these were from 2016, obviously. And again, hesitantly say condition is mint because again if you look over anything hard enough eventually you find something wrong so really cool there and then this one also was not seen on camera it's a kerrigan star from starcraft 2 it is actually the funko comic con san diego sticker it is not the shared sticker this was a limit of 2500 pieces really great piece this is from 2014 just really cool. I don't know a lot about StarCraft. Honestly, I just never played it. I didn't have PC gaming for a while, so... But really cool. And again, hesitantly say mint. <laughs> now we move on to some other cool stuff. We've got a Toucan Sam from Fruit Loops. 
He is part of the Funko Limited Edi Funko Funko Shop Limited Edition one. He, and he's in a hard stack. He'll be in good shape. He's from 2017. I mean, he looks really good. And again, I'm not seeing damage. There's no crunches. There's no... We, you know we're doing our best to give you the absolute perfect product as we can, you know? We're not going to just lie to you and say, oh, it's in perfect shape. And meanwhile, on the back, there's a giant gash mark or anything like that. But then this wasn't on camera. Trick Rabbit. We were lucky enough to get our hands on another one of these because we had one in our very first auction. And it did really well. It's a limit of 3500 It is the Flocked Trix Rabbit. And it is from 2017. And again, really good shape. In a hard stack. Very good piece. If you need... If you're looking for the higher end stuff, this is one of the ones that's like an entry level higher end is how I see it. Because it's gone up every time I've seen it, you know. Then this one we did show on camera. It was part of our mystery boxes. Um, it's a seven bucks a pop series signature Val Kilmer from, and it's JSA uh, authenticated. It's a limit of 90. So they only did 90 of these signed. This is the Batman Forever uh, figure as well. And again... It came in a hard stack. It came in mint condition, basically. And we haven't taken it out and messed with it. Now, this one we didn't show on camera. This has gotten through, I think, eBay. We were lucky enough to get it. It was a Daryl Dixon, signed and authenticated, again, by Norman, by Norman with Norman Reedus' signature. The JSA there. The matching sticker there. And again, box is in really good shape. It is crossbow Daryl. I know that sometimes matters to people from 2014, so it's an older Funko. Again, really great shape. And these are all again, these are all gonna be up for auction. And then obviously we had our uh, nerdy newt pulls, the controversial reverse flash that I made the error of not realizing that it said glow in the dark on the scanning when I scanned it. But still a great piece, still high-end Funko. Definitely a grail for anybody's collection. If you are a Flash collector, if you're a DC collector, or if you're just a Funko collector and you don't have it yet. <laughs> really cool. And again, as I showed in that video, in really great shape. The Dallas Con uh, convention sticker. Not like a shared sticker or anything like that. It's not the reissue 2013. It's not... It, you know, nobody's slapping a fake sticker on there or anything like that. Then we had the Creature from the Black Lagoon. Again, another one from... Uh, Nerdy Newt, she, she just she does some amazing boxes, like just straight up. This is Gemini Collectibles exclusive. It's a metallic uh, creature from the Black Lagoon. Again, a very high end one. Very cool piece. Universal Monster, some of the best monster movies of all time. Come at me. <laughs> very cool. Finally, is one I I actually was a little bit mad at myself for this because I we, again we open up some boxes that. We just have to get through some of the inventory so they're not stacked up in my hallways and all that. But I opened up the box, and I didn't expect to get this. And I pulled a Harvest Batman from the 2016, I believe. Yeah, 2016 Funko Ween exclusive, 3,300 pieces. He is so cool. And I didn't expect... I want This would have been something on camera that you would have just seen me go, What? Like, basically, I was so mad at myself for opening that box, you know? I try to open most boxes on camera, but again, like we said, it, there's so many after a point that we're, we're getting and previewing, and I can only record so much at the time and get so many videos in advance done. But he's in very good shape. I'm going to say near mint just to be safe because there's a little bit of right on the very top there. But he is absolutely cool. And it's one of the ones I personally never thought I would, I would see, you know? So yeah, he I think he's our new big papa for the for the auction. So really great there. Um but yeah, so that's a little bit of the preview. We again we have a total of 50. All of them are in amazing shape and amazing pieces that you need to, if you need them for your collection. There's not necessarily going to be sets and stuff like I've done before in the other auctions where it's whatever the best of the best was. Are there some that go together? Yes, but that's more of a convenient thing than a planned thing. Whereas before we would like we were trying to get sets of stuff to do auctions with. So very cool overall sets of stuff. It uh, again April first, five thirty p.m. on whatnot. Um, the full list will be going up. This uh, will be up by the time this video is live. Actually, I'm recording this a little bit in advance because I got work. Sorry, <laughs> but.
But um, there will also be posts from uh, up to the day of, of from Instagram that I'll post some of the other fit, some photos of the other stuff. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Cornucopia Collectibles on there. Um, and you'll see some more videos. You'll see some more photos there. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Uh, comment down below what your favorite of this little batch was. Let me know. You know, because again, a lot of cool stuff there. Um, if you want to keep seeing videos like this, again, we do a Primo video, preview, Primo preview every time we do an auction about the weekend before. That'll be up. So if you want to see what we're going to be putting up for auction, you get a little bit of a peek, sneak peek there. As well as we do about twice a week uh, videos of opening uh, Funko boxes at this point. We're going to expand in some other stuff eventually. But right now it's building and establishing with the Funkos. And then we'll work in some of the other things that I collect and we work, we're work working on. So otherwise, so if you want to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get, to get notified about that. Otherwise, you guys, you know, have a good time. Good luck hunting. And we'll see you Thursday, April 1st at 5.30 p.m. Bye-bye.